I am a sucker for brutally stupid political communications content, and I don't know how this slipped through my fingers, but NDP MP Charlie Angus did a press conference about six days ago trying to promote his really silly private members bill, trying to curb and regulate this free speech of those who want to promote oil and gas in Canada, which is literally trying to treat oil and gas speech as being somehow worse than promoting terrorism. Charlie Angus being a man who doesn't care if there are pro-Hamas people running around the streets going after Jewish people, but you better not talk about the benefits of petroleum products. Anyways, I want to react to this today. Here's the video. Here's Charlie Angus making a fool of himself. Last summer, over 200,000 Canadians were forced from their homes because of massive climate damage. Oh, we better lock people up for liking oil and gas then. In cities across North America, children could not go outside because of the risk to their health. The number of days where the smoke from burning wildfires was rated as extreme threat to human health lasted straight through the fall. Yeah, it's called a forest fire season. It's the wildfire season. The actual fire scene in 2023 wasn't that bad. We just had kind of moderately bad fire seasons in multiple provinces when per capita we've had far worse fire seasons in individual provinces we just happen to have fire seasons in three or four provinces so it made the whole year seem extremely bad when we've had fires that have burnt significant portions of entire provinces that kind of fly under the radar because just fires didn't happen elsewhere so people kind of don't notice how bad that year was for that individual province and also why is this sorry, why is this lady wearing a stethoscope is, is like she a doctor speaking to the idea that we shouldn't be allowed to promote like, you know, energy policy in Canada. We shouldn't be able to promote like pro-energy policy. Th this is ridiculous. Canada's oil and gas industry is not just killing the planet. The impacts are killing people. And yet, which people who was killed by the oil and gas industry? That's actually a very like serious accusation just to say, yes, the oil and gas industry is killing Canadians. Which Canadians? Or is this any time a forest fire happens, any natural disaster happens, and someone tragically passes away, Charlie Ankus is going to come and do a tap dance on their grave while promoting the idea that somehow you should be jailed for liking like oil and gas products. Oil and gas projects in which save millions of people's lives every year in Canada because we would all die for the most part outside of certain provinces if we did not have petroleum products to warm our homes. This man is a nutcase. I don't want to hear from intellectual types that it's the NDP and the liberals who are sober-minded, serious policymakers. They're policy wonks who really like the detailed public policy. Charlie Angus is a first-rate moron. The, the, these people are not, these people are nuttier than any conspiracy theorist type populist you could find for me. He thinks that we should jail people for liking oil and gas. This guy's like RFK Jr. in the U.S. who thinks that you should be jailed for not liking, for not like thinking that man-made global warming is going to ruin us all or whatever. That's his actual position, RFK Jr. It, it's insane. And Charlie Angus probably considers himself an intellectual compared to Pure Polyev, yet this is what he's pushing. Uh, again, I, I still come back to it. What is the lady doing with the stethoscope? <laughs> the oil and gas lobby continues to pump enormous sums into advertising campaigns to falsely claim the benefits of allowing even more burning of fossil fuels. So, sorry, heating people's homes for a cheap price is not a great benefit. And why do you think the oil and gas industry has to sp spend so much money promoting themselves? It's almost like the government's trying to regulate them to death, so they are running a public relations campaign so that people like Charlie Angus do not ruin them. That is not like trying to prevent the public from letting Charlie Angus ruin them. That is completely above board. Basically, Charlie Angus is saying, I can't believe that these oil and gas companies won't let me bully them out of like into bankruptcy. I can't believe them. Charlie Angus is a complete political hack. If you oppose any of his policies, he considers that like an element of fascism. This guy is like politically unhinged. It's this kind of granola naturalist type NDP person who thinks that anything but like, you know, solar panels and wood cabins is like, you know, somehow bourgeois decadence and it must be eliminated. The, the fact that your children do not freeze to death in the winter is bourgeois decadence and we have to uh, do away with it. There is no such thing as a moderate NDP MP anymore. I actually used to think maybe Charlie Angus was going to be a little bit more moderate to compare to Jagmeet Singh. Even Jagmeet Singh 
will not back up this stupid private members bill. He's basically saying, well, yeah, different MPs can have different opinions because the, the Alberta and Saskatchewan NDP are now threatening to separate themselves from the federal party. Also, doesn't that give the lie to the fact that the Alberta NDP in the provincial election out in Alberta were saying, we're not tied to the federal party at all. We're two separate distinct parties. Then why are you guys threatening to separate yourselves? Whatever. Over the last 60 years, they've spent billions suppressing evidence of the damage oh, that billions. they are knowing they're doing to our planet. They knew all along they were destabilizing our planet, our climate. Our, our climate. Putting our... Uh, like they, they, they've covered it up. How do they cover it up? Show me the cover up. It can't just be that they promote the benefits of oil and gas and they cast doubt on your very flimsy evidence that somehow burning of fossil fuels is what is the primary contributor to climate change. It's, there's just not a lot of evidence there. And it doesn't, there's not a lot of evidence to the fact that if Alberta or like Canada stops pumping oil and gas. I know they do a lot in New Newfoundland as well. If we stop pumping oil and gas, somehow emissions worldwide will fall when it would just create a market for more drilling elsewhere. Planet in a crisis from which we may not be able to recover. And now that the planet is on fire. Oh, it's on fire, guys. It's on fire. They're shifting their propaganda with false claims of producing cleaner products. They literally do. Even truck companies, a truck in 1970 used to burn far dirtier than one does now. And dirtier is kind of like a relative term. I don't even really like that kind of language. It, it produces far less emissions than it used to. A tank of gas break takes you way further with a truck now than it used to. But Charlie Angus doesn't know about that. Is Charlie Angus committing a cover up right now like he accuses oil and gas companies of doing? Did, did he drive home in a car? By the way, even an electric car, was he using coal or natural gas power plant energy? The man's a complete hypocrite. I doubt he cares at all about the environment in his own day-to-day -day life. He just likes using this as a stump to sort of use, like, uh, to, you know, promote his political career. Also, what is that lady doing with a stethoscope? I still don't like it. I hate it. It's just so stupid. I I need you, like... I need you to show up to my press conference. Make sure to bring your stethoscope along so people know that you're a doctor. I don't know, clown world. This is why I'm so proud to stand here today with representatives of Canada's medical community to state that the time has come to ban all oil and gas advertising. <laughs> Bill C-372 will, quote, provide a legislative response to a national public health and environmental problem of substantial and pressing concerns. The bill will make it illegal for big oil and gas lobby and the gas lobby or their front groups or paid influencers. Front groups. Like he's talking about them like they're terrorist organizations. Like there's Hamas front groups out there. There's oil and gas jihadis running around trying to convince you that, you know, you should keep your your gas on it when it's really cold outside. Mostly promote the burning of fossil fuels as a benefit to the public. Oh, it's only ever been a detriment. Yes, everyone. Guys. If you like Charlie Angus and you agree with his position, please go outside of your house. There's a little gas tap. You can turn it off. And if you really believe in what he's saying, do that for me right now. And then you can come back and finish the video if your power hasn't gone out. The legislation will make it illegal to falsely claim that the use of one fuel fossil fuel pro product is somehow better than another fossil fuel product uh, in improving the environment. What? And this legislation, <laughs> they're all bad, will target advertising that falsely claims that oil and gas are having a positive impact on the global economy. Oh. This legislation. You can't even say it has a positive effect on the global economy. Something that is inarguable. Like, Charlie Angus isn't just stupid. He's just anti-factual. He is actively stumping against the concept of facts. That you can't even say that oil and gas contributes to the economy in a good way. And his, he's probably going to come back and say, well, you can't say that because it's setting the world on fire. Even though environmental deaths, deaths due to environmental conditions, have fallen sharply since we started using oil and gas as our main energy source rather than things like coal or wood. We'll oh. make it illegal for Canada's oil and gas giants to falsely identify themselves with the health and positive lifestyles of Canadians or with reconciliation of indigenous people on who... Oh, no, yeah, no, Charlie Angus doesn't think... You getting, like, jobs to native communities, bad. Charlie Angus wants them to be poor, poor and, like, and without employment. 
Charlie Angus and all these people who think like we care about indigenous people very deeply. We want true reconciliation. And then they effectively treat them like third class citizens and don't even let them have jobs. They stump against them. They hire basically like you, they realize that activist groups actively hire people out of the uh, indigenous community to falsely stump against oil and gas, even though it's good for the community. These people are complete hypocrites. These people don't care about indigenous people whatsoever. They would rather see indigenous people become poorer in order so that they can feel a little bit better while they jet around the planet talking about how much they care about climate change. Whose lands the toxic contamination is highest. The big tobacco moment has arrived for companies like Suncor, Imperial, and the many, oil and gas giant. How many, how many people have died from lung cancer from oil and gas? I really doubt it's more than five ever of canada wow that man is an mp in our country guys isn't it a great time to be alive isn't it fantastic that a man like that can be you know, actually get elected around here i i just need to now look up what what riding is this man in? i need to see if he can be beat because that will at least give me a little bit of hope for this country timmins james bay 338 i want to see what the projections are looking like Oh, yes, guys, there's hope. Right now, they project that if the election was held today, more most likely Charlie Angus would still win, but it's about 40% NDP to 37% conservative. And even this is probably showing the PPC doing way better than they should. They're showing them at 8%. I guarantee that they swap the PPC or swap to conservative to defeat this guy. Uh, yeah, they give the conservatives currently a, what is it? I want to see the percentages. 34% chance of winning. If you live in Timmins, James Bay, vote against this monumental gaffling moron. Ugh. Anyways, if you've watched this far, I just want to quickly mention the fact that I, Wyatt Claypool, I'm running for the Calgary Signal Hill Conservative Party nomination. If you live in that riding, please buy a membership and vote for me. Unless you live in the Greenbrier or Bowness areas, they're being removed from the riding when boundaries change because we're getting a few more ridings in Alberta. Other than that, just check out the website. If you live in the area, sign up for the members, uh, like the email list, you know, buy a membership. Let me know if you did. And if you want to donate to my legal fund, that's also in the description of this video below. Um, so yeah, if you want to help us out with the legal costs we have, we have this billionaire suing us for a stupid defamation case. He's never submitted any evidence. We defamed him. Everything that our guest writer said about him was based off of reporting that was multiple years old by that point. And he's just kind of assuming that he can try and like intimidate us into giving him a false apology so he can feel big and powerful or whatever. So if you want to donate to that, give us and go links in the description below. I hope you guys kind of like these a little bit more casual reaction videos. I'm having fun with them, especially when I get to laugh at a man like Charlie Angus. But I'll see you guys next time with another video or live stream.